What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back again with a fluid art polish video for you guys. Baroness X has um, released fairly recently uh, two new fluid art polishes in her shop, and um, we are going to play around with some nail art, get a little messy with some decals, and uh, let's see what we come up with. First, we have Appaloosa. This is a light gray fluid art polish with dark gray micro flakes. So for this fluid art, you guys have seen me do this quite a bit at this point um, on, say, my polish pickup videos um, and on another previous video. Um, I recently have started to favor doing these massive decals, and um, I feel like it's it gives me a little bit more control over messing with one giant one versus the four different ones. But um, definitely keep in mind that there is a ton of ways to do this. So I'm starting off with a nude base. Um, it is from Zoya. And then I am going over and covering up that base with the Fluid Art Polish. Now I'm taking my third color, which is um, this teal, which is available in Baroness X's shop. And I'm just making it super messy. And as you can see, when you lay down that Fluid Art Polish on the bottom, I'm telling you guys, I'm getting a little more used to doing this. Uh, when you lay your Fluid Art Polish down on the bottom, it's going to create cells. So wherever those cells form is what you'll is how you'll see the Fluid Art Polish's color. So on all of the little um, windows here, you can see them, that is where that gray is coming out. But the Fluid Art Polish itself is gonna take all other normal nail polish and uh, create those little um, cells. So I let that decal dry down for about 30 to 40 minutes. And this step itself is um, definitely optional. It depends on how you want to do this method. Again, there's so many ways to do these. I personally like to use whatever base color I use for my decal. I like to apply one thin coat to my nails and that just basically makes it to where however I cut up that decal, it's gonna stick to my nail very easily. So um, I just use a normal scissors. I picked out which part of the decal I thought was gonna look best for this nail, and I just placed it right there on that base polish, uh, which at that point was kind of tacky. And I'm going in and just pressing, 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 remove the excess, clean up, and then you can see in the final look here, um, really nice kind of non-objective uh, art type of style. And Circle with a Dot is a light orchid pink, somewhat purple fluid art polish with metallic silver micro flakes. So this one, um, again, very similar. I use a base color for a decal, and then I'm going in and just slathering on that fluid art polish over it. And then once you go in with your, uh, any type of polish really, um, secondary polish, then you can just go in, make it real messy. And as you're doing this, as it dries down, it's making those cells. So you can absolutely use a ton more polishes if you want to make like a super turbo rainbow effect or if you wanted to do it a little more subdued like what i'm doing in this video um, and i'm just using um, two polish two additional polishes on top of the fluid art ones totally your prerogative in the baroness x facebook fan group we have had some incredible swatters doing some nail art with these fluid art polishes um, I absolutely am not a professional. I This is completely new to me too, but um, these ladies are doing such a good job. So um, I would definitely encourage you guys to check out the Facebook fan group and you can check out those wonderful uh, people who is who are making uh, these incredible nail art with them. So again, I'm going in and I am just using a very thin coat of my base color from the decal, again, press, press, press. You want your decal to be tacky, not too dried down so it's not crispy, but enough that where you can manipulate it or stretch it if you need to on your nail. Now, um, those of you who watch my Polish pickup videos, I have mentioned these little wedging tools. Um, again, I have mentioned it before, but just in case, I got these off of AliExpress several years ago, actually. They were very cheap, um, and honestly, I didn't know what to do with them, but now I understand. Now, the top coat that I'm using in this video is from Baroness X. This is her liquid, liquid crystal top coat. I have used up quite a bit of this top coat on magnetics because I like that it's that thinner type of consistency, so I think it works well with that, especially when you're using a magnet. And then for nail art like this, it just gives that super glossy type of finish without too much more volume to your nails, 
since the decals themselves give this very plump appearance. So because of that, um, I think it's a perfect thickness and um, I'm not making it too, too thick with um, a somewhat more viscous top coat. Now, Appaloosa and Circle with a Dot are currently available in Baroness X's shop. Um, I will link that below for you guys if you wanna check that out. She's got lots and lots of goodies. If you've been enjoying her acetone antidotes from uh, polish pickup or anything like that. You can get those scents um, in other types of products such as lotions or my personal um, holy grail product is her cuticle oil. Um, I can't recommend that enough. So you can get all types of scents. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend checking out this brand. Um, even if you are not into the fluid art polishes, there's definitely some good stuff to see there. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.